Hey there, hope you had a great weekend and that you and your family are doing well. It's been a little bit since I chatted and said hello, so I wanted to share something with you. I did a Facebook Live earlier today and talked about this kind of epiphany I had while raking leaves this weekend. So we've been spending some time in New England. I had to rake the yard and uh, kind of looked forward to it because I used to rake leaves when I was a kid, but I haven't done it for quite a while. So I got out there and I looked at the yard and I was like, okay, this is what I got to do. All right, cool. And then I started like raking and then I was like, hmm, maybe I should start over here. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should start over there. Hmm, maybe I should make a plan. What if I did piles? But And I realized I was just procrastinating and I was like, oh my God, this is what we talk about all the time in coaching where we do this in our lives. You know, we have a goal, we have a dream. For me, it was just to rake the yard. But for you guys, it's something much more serious. And the point is, it's natural to be intimidated by doing something that seems like a big job. By doing something that maybe you don't know how you're going to get through it. I knew I was going to rake the leaves, but am I going to do several piles? Am I going to put them on a big you know, sheet and then like drag them over to the, to the end of the yard. Like I didn't know exactly what I would do down the line, but I needed to have faith, you know, and again, raking leaves, trivial, your dreams, not trivial, absolutely serious. And the only reason that you're here on this planet. And so I wanted to share that with you because it's a normal human process. It's a normal part of the human psyche and the emotions and everything that gets involved when we go to do something that we haven't done before, or for me, something I hadn't done in a very long time. There's intimidation, there's fear, fear of failure, fear you're not gonna be able to complete it. I had a coaching client tell me that they didn't, they were afraid to pursue their dreams because they were afraid that they might not be able to live, fully fulfill their dreams. And I said, well, how much of your dreams are you living right now? And they said, well, about 10%. I go, so if you lived 80%, would that be better than 10? They said, oh, yeah. And yet we use that as a reason to not pursue our dreams. So here's the thing. All of these things, whether it's feeling overwhelmed, getting tired, right? Procrastinating, second guessing yourself, anger, depression, chronic illness, all of these things are manifestations of a block but we think that they are the block they're not the block so you might say well I can't get started because I'm a procrastinator that's not a, a condition that's a symptom of a block but what the block is remains to be seen and so I realized for myself once I was able to do this process of, of identifying what my block was and then walking through it and moving past it. It's a three-step process. Every single step is essential. Identifying it is great, but that's not enough. Walking through it is great, and that's not easy, but that's still not enough. Moving past it can be impossible without a lot of humility and gratitude and grace. And all three of these steps are essential to fully realizing your dreams and being free of these blocks. So if you feel like you've been hitting that glass wall, you feel like you're going in circles, you feel like you try and you keep ending up and getting stuck at the same point, that's okay. That's normal. You have a block. I can help you. I realized in my own life about 10 years ago that I had been living with blocks for years. And once I was able to identify, walk through, and move past these blocks. This process took me about a year of super intense and really uncomfortable and quite frankly, painful experiences. But I did a lot of work. I did a lot of things right. I did a lot of things wrong. I realized what worked. And once I was able to do that, it opened up my life and my life has never been the same. My new course is called Remove the Block, and I would love to share this with you. It's a 12-week course. There's a component of a workbook. There's a component of one-on-one -on -one coaching. I walk you through this process. We do this together. 
with your life, with your blocks, and we work through it, and you walk through it, and you move past it, but at the end of this process, not only have you done that, but you've learned how to do it for yourself. So the next time you come up against a block, which you will, you're not going to be stuck by it. You're not going to be baffled by it. You're not going to have to take six months or a year to realize, whoa, I haven't really progressed. You're going to have the awareness and the tools to identify, walk through, and move past your block. So if you'd like to know more information about it, just send me a message. You can reply to this email or you can write me at mattstarcoaching at gmail.com and I'd be happy to tell you all about it. No matter what you do, do something today you've never done in the interest of living your dreams. See ya.